Hey y'all, today we're gonna be making some Southwest egg rolls. Now these are definitely chilies inspired because it's pretty much the chilies recipe other than the seasonings. I kind of went rogue on the seasoning and did my own thing, but everything else is the same. So what you're gonna do is trim up your chicken. Now you're only gonna need one chicken breast for this, but because I was gonna have my little grill out anyway, I decided I would go ahead and grill a couple of extra pieces of chicken just, you know, to have for later on during the week. And that way I wouldn't have to cook, you know, make it easy on myself. So once your chicken is all trimmed up, this is where I went out on my own. I love this Kinder's Fajita Seasoning Blend. Now, you do not have to use it. The actual chilies recipe calls for like cumin and uh, chili powder and stuff like that. So feel free to use, you know, the original, you know, recipe that it calls for. But like I said, I wanted to use the fajita seasoning. So that's what I did. So what you're going to want to do once your chicken is all nice and trimmed up, Go ahead and season both sides of your chicken and I just pat my seasoning down in there and don't worry y'all I have a clean hand and a dirty hand and my counter gets scrubbed 80 times a day so don't worry about the chicken the chicken goo getting on my counter <laughs> it's gonna be fine so you know me I love some onion and I really wanted to put onion in this but the recipe called for green onion mixed in with it so I did decide that I would on this particular thing, I'd be good and do the, just the green onion. So go ahead and slice that up kind of thin and sit it over to the side. You're going to need maybe, I think I did maybe a couple of tablespoons is what it ended up being, not quite a quarter of a cup. So like I said, just set that to the side till you need it. And I'm going to go ahead and get my chicken breasts all grilled up. Now you don't have to grill your chicken breasts. You could cut them up and like just season them and saute them. Or you can use shredded chicken. But like I said, this is the way I wanted to do mine. So this is the way I did it. But feel free to do your chicken however you know you want to. So once your chicken is all nice and done, you're going to go ahead and get it cut up. And like I said, remember, I'm only going to use one of these chicken breasts for this recipe. And it goes a lot further than you think. You know, egg rolls are not very big. And with this one chicken breast and the other stuff I put in it, it made 10 egg rolls, y'all. So just know that, you know, it's, it's going to make a bunch. So I just went ahead and my chicken was hot. <laughs> it was hot. I had to hold it with the, with the tongs, y'all. But I just went ahead and kind of cut it up into some little bitty bite-sized pieces. You know, you, egg rolls, like I said, are not very big. So you don't want huge pieces of chicken, you know, to go in your egg rolls. All right. So for the other part of our filling, to a pan, you're going to add about a tablespoon or so of oil. And then you're going to add in some diced bell pepper. Now, I used about a half a cup, I think. Y'all know I didn't measure most of this. But it was probably about half a cup. And I get my stuff at Sam's, a lot of it, my onions and bell peppers. So I cut them all up, and then I freeze them. And that way, when I need to make something like this, I don't have to go through all the preparing of a lot of these things. It's already done. I just pull it out of the freezer and use it. So you're going to just saute your bell pepper around, you know, just a little bit. Because like I said, mine were frozen. So I'm trying to kind of get them soft. Then you're going to add about a third of a cup of corn. And you can use frozen. You can use it out of the can. Use whatever you have. It's not going to make a difference. And I let that just cook around a little bit, you know, till my, till my corn gets good and heated. Then I went ahead and added in the same amount about a third of a cup of black beans and I just cooked that till those were heated. Then I went ahead and added in all that chicken, that one chicken breast that I cut up, add that in there. We're just kind of letting this in between each addition, just kind of heat it up, let the flavors kind of mix together, you know. And then once all that's good and heated, you're going to go ahead and add in your green onion and y'all see I'm not adding a ton of seasoning or I'm not adding any seasoning yet, but I will in a minute. And then you're also going to need about a quarter of a cup of spinach. Now, I didn't have any fresh spinach. All I had was frozen. So that's why you see me shaking it out of a paper towel 
<laughs> because I had to, you know, like squeeze all that water out of it. But you could definitely use like some baby spinach if you wanted to. But mine, what it ended up being was about a quarter of a cup of spinach. Now I'm going to add my seasoning. And at this point, like I said, if you were using the regular chilies recipe, this is where you would add in your cumin, your chili powder and all that. But because I seasoned my chicken with this already, I just went ahead and used this to season up the rest of my, you know, my filling. So you're just going to mix that up good. And then you're going to go ahead and add in about a half or three quarters of a cup of whatever kind of cheese you want. I had mozzarella, so that's what I used. You can use Colby Jack. You can use whatever you have. You know, I'm a big believer, if you've been watching my videos for any length of time, use what you have. I don't like to have to go out. Now, some things you do have to buy special stuff for, but for the most part, I'm a big believer in just use whatever you have and try to make it work, if you can. You know, no sense in spending a bunch of extra money on a bunch of stuff that you don't have to. So, and y'all know these darn wooden spatulas, they are my favorite thing. So I will link those down below for y'all if y'all are in, in the market for some wooden spatulas. So once you get your mixture all nice and done, and we just melted our cheese in there, you're going to lay your egg roll wrappers out and add a heaping tablespoon of your filling to each one of your little egg roll wrappers. Now, I saw people use um, wonton wrappers. I've seen people use... Uh, tortillas so again use what you have you're going to go ahead and dip your finger in a little bit of water and you're just going to go down the edge all the edges of your egg roll wrapper okay because we're going to have to make it stick and the water will make it stick so then you're just going to roll it kind of like an envelope you're going to roll it to the center roll both sides in and then we're just going to roll it until that very end seals and it seals itself because we put a little bit of water on it but y'all see, this makes 10. And I just sprayed some cooking spray on these and air fried them for about eight minutes, flipping them halfway through. Now here's the bonus content <laughs> that I was telling y'all. I had some Philly cheesesteak uh, mixture in the freezer because I made sandwiches. And I will link that video for y'all if you want to know how I made my mixture. But I thought these would make some really good egg rolls too. So I just took like a half a piece of provolone cheese and a little bit of that uh, Philly cheesesteak mixture and then wrapped it the same exact way. You cook it the same exact amount of time as you did the Southwest egg rolls and they are so good, y'all. But like I said, y'all know me, live by myself, me and the cat. So I, you know, made, it made 20 of these. I made 20, I made 10 of the Philly cheesesteak and 10 of the Southwest. So... I had to freeze some. So if you just put them in some, put them in a Ziploc bag, throw them over in the freezer, and then whenever you want an egg roll, just pull it out, pop it in your air fryer, or you can deep fry these however you want to do it. But like I said, I air fried mine on 400 for about eight minutes, and I flipped them halfway through. And that's all there is to these, y'all. You can really put anything in, you know, and make an egg roll out of it, but these are delicious. And you can also make, you know, Chili's has like that avocado ranch dip for these. You can absolutely make that or just use regular ranch or whatever you want to do with these. It's super, super easy and they taste so dang good, y'all. And here's a peek at our, our little Philly cheesesteak. But that's all I got for y'all today. I will pop y'all another video over here and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all.